Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. If you're new here, I promise my voice does not sound this annoying all the time, but I am recovering from like, you know, losing my voice, so I'm just like getting it back now. I really hope that um, I'm just gonna get a lot better before I actually have to do the voiceover because uh, then, you know, at least you don't have to listen to this the whole time. Um, but you can see that I have a new background uh, and it's time for, you know, like winter designs. I'm so excited. I love winter. I love winter designs. I love Christmas. I love everything. And today I have a really, really simple design that the first time I saw it done, it was many, many years ago, and I was in love with it. I, it's just so adorable and so cute and you know it already because you've seen thumbnail, you've seen the posts and everything but is this... <clears throat> I'm sorry um, so these are like little tracks first we have some human tracks uh, and then we have some like I don't know whatever you want this to be cat, dog probably a dog would have little claws but I would say maybe a cat and then we have some like bird tracks I think they are supposed to be like pigeon tracks I would say uh, but I am in love with how cute these are and it's just it's so adorable and so easy to do as well It just takes a bit longer. So whatever you do don't hurry. Just take your time uh, this is really going to help your um, like mind hand coordination kind of thing uh, so you just need to take your time and do it slowly and it's gonna be beautiful um, you can also do other designs like writing. I remember when I first learned this technique, I wrote down like the year, um, you know, kind of like a New Year's thing. So you can write the, the, the year that you're celebrating. So you can use it. You can use this technique to do like uh, New Year's nails and then all kinds of little things. You can draw, I don't know, stickmans and stuff like kids play, played in the snow. I don't know, it's just, it's really, really easy to do and it has such a cute result, I am in love with it. Um, the reason I use different colored backgrounds is because like this one, it's supposed to be like you have snow, very, very thick snow, so obviously whenever you step you're not going to see anything underneath, you're going to see just white. Um, I would maybe recommend, I don't know if it's going to be very good but i would recommend putting a matte top coat instead of the shiny top coat on here just because you can really see but then you know it's a bit shiny wherever you step so i, I don't know whatever you want to do then this one is like over a lake or something you know it's very um the the ice the snow on top sorry is very thin and then you have the uh, really um, nice thick layer of ice so you know you can put that blue and you can put whatever color of blue you want there and then this one's supposed to be like on the tarmac maybe or um, wherever you know it's very dark like on um, dirt or on top of something else so you know you have like different backgrounds for different finishes for a different idea so you can actually mix up with other colors you don't have to use only like blue or only white or whatever uh, you can mix up other colors in the design and just you know do this as one nail anyway I rambled for four minutes already and I annoyed you enough with my voice so let's do some nails for the first nail I'm gonna start with Kirsty Meekin's white out and I'm gonna apply two layers of this and cure each layer for 30 seconds in an LED lamp um, then I'm gonna go in with this glossy top coat and I will apply a layer of this and very very important cure so that gel polish is protected then I'm gonna go in with indigo white snow effect and I'm gonna use some mega white from Neo nails and I am going to put a 2 to 1 ratio so I'm gonna put uh, two uh, measures of the mega white and then I'm gonna put one measure of this indigo uh, glitter I'm not showing it on camera I am I did add a lot more glitter to this 
afterwards just because, you know, it's white acrylic. So I couldn't see much of the shimmer. So I really wanted to see more of that shimmer. Then mix that up. I'm gonna go in with Vice Versa, uh, the dotting tool. You can use here anything that's like really pointy so like even a needle or something like that and i'm gonna apply a layer of that glossy top coat and without curing i'm putting it in that little uh, gem tray just because i wanted everything that falls on the sides to be caught in that so you know i don't waste any product so now i'm just gonna sprinkle a very very generous amount of this um if you uh like if you apply too much it's just gonna fall off so don't worry about it the gel that gel top coat is gonna take exactly how much it needs to create that perfect layer of snow uh, the reason I use that glitter is not only because of the shimmer but also because the particles in it are, sm are bigger than the actual acrylic particles it creates this like bumpy snowy effect you can't really see the shimmer on camera it's very hard to pick up you can see it in real life, but it's just enough for it to, um, for you to see it there. I don't know. It's, it's enough. <laughs> it's very hard to pick it up on camera though. Um, and that's just because, you know, the, the acrylic is white. If it would be clear acrylic, you could see it a lot better, but then you wouldn't get this effect on other colors. So on white, it would be fine to use clear acrylic on other colors it wouldn't uh, right now I'm just like pushing with that um, dotting tool and I am creating just some shapes um, which are gonna be like um, boot shapes boot tracks yeah that that's it boot tracks uh, the only thing you need to keep in mind is not that they have to be perfect so they don't have to be perfect at all just take your time um and make them kind of heading in the same direction so um just look at like you know where where the other boot was going and try to mimic the same line but other than that they really don't have to be perfect because to be honest if you do look at steps in the snow they're not never exactly the same because you know snow falls and uh you move your feet a bit differently every time you take a step i don't know it's it's really weird i know it sounds very weird but trust me you're gonna get the same effect whether they are perfect so uh, or not so don't stress yourself about it make it as good as possible you know and then um if you don't like a part because this is not cured yet uh you can always go back in and you know uh, make it a bit different the only thing you can't do is if you make the, the area too big, you can obviously make the other areas as big as this, but um, if you don't want to do that, then you can just wipe this whole thing off and just redo the steps really easily. Uh, so, you know, as long as it's not cured, it doesn't matter. I'm also going to show you at the end what to do if you do cure it and you don't like an area in particular uh, but I'm gonna show you that on the last nail so you know but yeah I'm I've just done this everywhere and you can see they're not perfect all of them but you know they're um, they're fine then it had a bit of a bumpy texture around every single one and because you don't want to leave that on a client I'm just gonna give it a quick file this file was really really easy so just Give it a really, really um, light file. Don't put any pressure on it because you're gonna take the whole design off. And uh, yeah, this nail is done now. Then next nail, I am gonna go in with Nanny Pam and I will apply two layers of this again and cure each for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna apply a layer of top coat again to protect that gel polish and cure that uh, and this is the second layer of uh, glossy top coat which I'm not gonna cure I am gonna put back in my little tray there and my background kept on moving <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this mixture again you can see that I 
like put back everything back into my little pot and I'm reusing it because it's it doesn't matter you know if you're doing this for um, on clients and you have some leftover from pouring I don't know if you I, I mean I, I wouldn't use it for another client um, so you know when you're doing it on clients maybe mix less and um, throw it away at the end if you have some leftover because you know it's I don't know, it's contamination, it's, yeah. Um, anyway, but here I'm just making kind of like a very rounded shape, uh, a heart shape, sorry. Um, rounded at the bottom, heart shape. And then I'm just putting some dots on the top to create like a cat paw kind of thing. Uh, if you're making like little lines at the top of each... Um, toe bean <laughs> then it's gonna look exactly like um, either a bear or a dog because they have like bigger claws that they don't have retractable claws so they they will scratch as well when they step um if you're making it like this then it's like a cat paw so just keep that in mind uh if you're not sure and if you want to do any particular tracks um just look up on Google and see different animals, tracks or something like that. And you're going to see loads and loads of photos of specific animal tracks. So then you can just copy those and they're all really easy to do. So just, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. And I'm going to repeat this, obviously, for all of them. Um, I'm going to, you know, kind of go up on the nail. And I decided to make the little toe beans a bit bigger just because I made a mistake on the top there um, the one that's like the highest and it has a really big toe bean and I, yeah I wanted to make them all look the same but that's what I mean you can go back this is a very forgiving uh, design and you can go back and create a better outcome you know and just yeah <laughs> it's really easy to do um, as you can see here, and it's actually quite therapeutic. It's, it feels like actually playing in the snow. And I do miss snow. In UK you don't have a lot of snow, but in, in Romania, back in my country, it's a lot of snow. So we used to play a lot when we were children outside and having a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I do miss that. I don't miss the cold though. <laughs> Um, because obviously to have that kind of snow you do have to have cold and that that was horrible but um, I just yeah I love snow anyway now I'm gonna go in and again I'm giving it a really light buff you can even use a buffer here I, I just use the file because it's quicker but you can use a buffer and just remove those like uh, really big bumps so you know your client don't scratch or anything like that and the, plus it looks a lot neater at the end uh, for the third nail, I'm going in with Void, I'm applying two layers, cure each for 30 seconds, apply a top coat, cure it. Again, very important to cure that top coat, uh, to have that gel polish protected. And then I apply the layer of uh, that top coat again, and now I'm sprinkling it with the mixture that I made. Um, also, what I did not mention and I need to mention is the fact that you have to cure this after you applied the um, after you've done all your design the last cure needs to be at least a double cure because you have a lot of product in that top coat and it's got, not gonna get um that you know perfect cure unless you cure it for longer so you really need to keep that in mind um here i'm trying to do like pigeon tracks i would say uh, so I'm just kind of mapping them out. I'm drawing where the lines are supposed to be, where like the little um, steps are supposed to be. And then I am out of focus because I don't know how to position myself to not be out of focus, apparently. I'm just, yeah, I, I still can't film. I have over 40 uh, videos already on YouTube uh, from when I started again on YouTube and I still don't know how to position myself to not be out of focus. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
so you can see here I'm just like drawing a line and then I'm just bringing two lines on the sides and then make sure that the middle line is higher than the, the, the other two lines. So just do the side lines. You are gonna drag a lot of product out from here uh, just because of the way this design is is just like you, you have a lot of leftover on your uh, tool there but just wipe it off before you go back in because otherwise you're gonna bring that top coat and mix with the thing back into your design then here i am giving it again a really light buff just because it was very very bumpy and also you can fix other areas like here just because again it was bumpy and it's easy to do and now I'm gonna show you what to do whenever um, you have an area that you don't necessarily like so just there you know there are not many but just there I'm going in with a cuticle uh, bit or under the nail bit I think it's called and just giving that a little bit of a file really really gently and this is not gonna do anything and yeah this nail is done all done now and I am absolutely in love with them they are so adorable um, I want to hear what you guys think about my new background and yes I will have a different background for every single video I'm so excited you, you'll see um, but let me know what you thought about this uh, set and whatever you know if you're gonna try them please let me know I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that um, you are going to try these because they are just too cute to not try and they're so easy to do, honestly. Uh, please tag me in it, you can post in my group if you try to recreate something. Um, I'll leave the link down below. And um, yeah, I hope you liked today's video and I'm sorry about my voice, I'm so sorry. But hopefully it's gonna be better. <laughs> Okay, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!